A lot of the figures that I'm going to be showing today are questionable, maybe. What is up you guys? It is your girl Liba, back at it again with another video. And today we have yet another haul. So I have been going through my very backlogged backlog of figures that I need to show you guys. And today I've gathered an array of figures that I have bought in that have had started quite the discussion on the online forums in the anime figure collecting community. A lot of the figures in today's video, people either didn't like how they came out, or people were skeptical of them, or people have been hesitant to buy them. And I wanted to share what I've bought and give my thoughts and my reviews on them. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Liba. I am a very avid anime figure collector. I specialize in a couple things, you know, brown girl figures, my own personal aesthetic. So if you watch this video, and you like what you see then definitely please subscribe to this channel and support me as a content creator because I have a goal I want to hit 5,000 subscribers that's my current goal please I want to make it happen so I'm trying my hardest to get there but without further ado I don't really have much else to say in this intro so let's hop into today's video with the first figures that I wanted to talk about today, this set of Amelia and Rem by Animeister. So this set is one seven scale produced by Animeister and it is known as their elegant beauty versions. And I remember when these two went up, I, that lamp keeps dropping. We should be more situated. <laughs> but as I was saying, I remember when this set went up for pre-order, everybody lost their shit. Like everybody went bizarnicus over these two figures. And for good reason, I think that they are a really gorgeous design, especially for Amelia, which is a character that honestly doesn't get a lot of love. It doesn't, I feel like her figures are very often subpar. So this was a really exciting set for people when it came out. However, upon release, a lot of people online, especially on my figure collection, did not like the way they looked. They said that it looked gloppy, it looked bad, it came out bad. Animeister has a really bad name in the community apparently. But honestly, like looking at these figures and remembering from when they did come out, Honestly, like I did not have too many complaints. I was kind of like, this looks fine to me. Like definitely the hair sculpts were not up to par to what the product display photo was, but like it was nothing offensive. So I definitely was still happy with my pre-order and continued to like take the risk of getting them in. And honestly, like I'm very glad that I did take that risk in because this is one of my favorite figure sets. I mean, I think it is like absolutely freaking stunning. It's pretty hard to hold. That's why I'm bouncing it on these art books. But no, I have no complaints with this figure besides the fact that that lamp will and does fall off very easily. But no, the set itself is super gorgeous. I think it is really amazing, really beautiful. Rem looks amazing. Amelia looks stunning. She's not as Amelia looking as she could be, but I think it's fine. I think she looks really cute. I adore the China dress aesthetic. So I'm like, I'm just such a sucker for that. I have started holding back on buying China dress figures, but these were definitely like ones that I purchased when I was like heavy into my face. And yeah, there's nothing more to say. Like, I think the complaints online were like a little too nitpicky, but to me, there are 10 out of 10 set. Highly recommend, like if you're somebody who's been kind of like on the edge waiting for somebody to review these, because I feel like I haven't seen any figure YouTubers talk about them, or at least anyone that I've watched. Um, this set is everything. It's so beautiful. It's so stunning. Um, <laughs> I think it's, it's very suggestive for sure, but just so gorgeous. Like if you're a ReZero fan, yeah, it's so cute. Um, let's head into the next figure, which is this Rem prize figure from Exceed Creative. According to my figure collection, this is the Sho Usagi Musume figure. And I picked up this figure mainly because I was really salty that Rem did not get included in the previous set with Amelia and Rom. I feel like, yes, Amelia is pretty neglected for figures, but Rem is so much more neglected. I don't really get the hype around Rom. I don't get why every like person who's obsessed with her is obsessed with her so much so to the point where like in the market she just has hundreds and hundreds of random ass figures but i really like rom i think she's a sassy little pink haired chick and so 
I thought that Exceed Creative is really promising as a prize figure company, especially with the release of the Macho Miku that came out, which was just so stunning. So I saw that no, there was like no pictures of this on my figure collection. So I was just kind of like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, let's get it. Like, let's see if they live up to their hype. And they did, to me at least. I think that this is one of the most amazing prize figures that I have like ever seen. Truly, like truly, Genuinely, she looks better than some of my scale figures and she was only about 20 bucks USD. I think that she is so amazingly done. I actually made a TikTok about this, which performed pretty well. And the comments were really divisive. Like I said that I thought that this prize figure was definitely scale figure quality and better than a lot of the scale figures that I had considering the price point. <laughs> some people, a lot of people agreed with me on my TikTok cause it like kind of popped off. And a lot of people were like, oh, you're stupid as fuck. That looks like shit. But I love this figure. I think it's gorgeous. I think that the, 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 the proportions itself are amazing for a prize figure. It looks like a scale figure to me. I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna say it last time. It is scale figure quality. I think that the paint job is really nice on all the pieces. I especially like this base, the flower chunk of like red plastic, super freaking cute. And I just really like her like unique, again, China Chinese dress inspired outfit. And I just, I like Ram. So I think this is like a really cute figure and definitely, ooh, de <laughs> definitely worth the price point. Like I definitely have my eye out on Exceed Creatives products so i'm really excited to see more prize figures from them and like if again because i feel like like not a lot of people picked this up and this is a part of a set with a rem which i didn't get a rem i only got rom uh definitely pick this up because it's amazing looking like it's just so so good looking but moving into the next figure the next figure that i wanted to talk about is this one eight scale anaplex exclusive Nezuko figure from Demon Slayer. This is her demonization form from the second season. And it, I feel like it's a well-known fact at this point that Demon Slayer scale figures, I don't know what it is with the art style, but they really just like drop the ball with the quality and a lot of like scale figures end up just come out looking like shit, <laughs> frankly. Pardon my French, but I had to pick up this Nezuko specifically because I've actually read the full manga of Demon Slayer and I just really love like the character designs and the art style. I think that like there it has some really gorgeous and unique character designs and this particular Nezuko was based off of one of the official illustrations and my favorite illustration. Like this is my favorite illustration. I think that it's just so beautiful. So when I saw that they were making this a figure, I was like, I'm definitely gonna pre-order this and buy it knowing that like Anaplex is probably gonna drop the ball with it like they do with every other Demon Slayer figure. And like genuinely, I'm really glad that I took the risk because I actually think, I don't think, I think this is one of those figures that I like to say is like unphotogenic, but beautiful to like the naked eye. But if you look at her in all of her detail, I really think that she came out especially just like gorgeous. Like I really think that they actually, nailed it to the best of their ability, which is like not, to me, the the bar is quite low for them. And I, I just love her. I love the pose. I think that I, my favorite part of this form is like the vein, the veins that like go across her body. I love the horn. I think that her face is really gorgeous. Obviously it's not like amazing and like to the par that it should be for the price point, but I really love it. I think that it is so pretty. So I'm really happy that I picked this up just because like, she's so pretty and I love this illustration. I'm so happy. I didn't think I would get a figure. So 10 out of 10, I really love it. And moving into the next figure, which is also a little unphotogenic. It is the Union Creative Neko figure, which came out earlier this year. Now this figure has tanked quite a bit in aftermarket, which is why I picked it up. You can find it in Amiyami pre-owned for about 10K yen, which is really dirt cheap, especially for like the size of it. She is massive. I don't, I feel like this is a one six scale. There's no like official scale for the figure listed, but I really liked the um, design of this figure with the red and the white and the roses and the animal ears. And I, I don't know, I saw pictures of it online 
And I just felt like, I don't get why this tanked because I think that it looks amazing. Upon further inspection in person, there's definitely a reason why it tanked. She is like a little bit ugly. <laughs> and I hate saying that because I actually do really love her, but definitely like the muted colors are kind of contributing to her lack of presence comparatively to what they previewed her images as. And like, I don't know, something about her face is just slightly off. Like maybe the decals are not properly placed on there or maybe again, it's just an issue with the coloration. But like looking at her in person, looking at her in this B-roll, I genuinely still think that she is gorgeous and a steal for her price. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that, but like I adore her. First of all, unpopular opinion, I love clear bases. <laughs> I don't know why, a lot of people Anyways, I don't know who was doing that. I, a lot of people I know hate clear bases. I love them. I love clear bases so much. I feel like it just gives the appearance that there is no base. And I really like them. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get what there is to hate. Um, but I just really love her outfit design. I love her huge, huge size. And I think that she's a really pretty girl, especially for like the aftermarket tank price. I fuck with her. I think she's amazing. I She's a little ugly, but she's still beautiful, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but moving into the next figures, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep this pop popping, keep it going. The next figures, I feel like I definitely succumb to the hype and they are the, the Hello Good Smile figures. <sighs> I have definitely succumbed to the hype of these. Um, I wanted to, I bought my first one online, which is the um, event exclusive long haired Ray. Um, I thought this was gonna be really hard to find, but after like a couple weeks of looking at the Good Smile US website, she popped up for retail and I was kind of like, okay, cool. Like I guess they were doing some kind of web event and I bought her. Just, I wanted to see what the hype was about. Cause I feel like I've seen so many figure collectors be like, oh my God, these are amazing. And like, I definitely get the hype. They're pretty cute and they're dirt cheap. And I really like Ray. And this is my first Evangelion figure. So I picked this up and I was like, yeah, I really like her. And because I really liked her, I was like, you know what? I feel like I would also want to get Shinji and Kaoru's plug suit version. But if you weren't aware, I spontaneously went to the Sunday day of anime NYC. And because I was there, I actually ended up picking the school uniform versions of Shinji and Kaoru. Um, I feel like I was definitely convinced by the lady at the Good Smile booth who was at the register to pick these ones over the plug suit version because these ones are also event exclusive. But like, truthfully, I kind of wish I got the plug suit version, but I, I do really like them. I think that they're really cute, just really simple figures. It was 30 bucks for both of them. I bought them in person, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. It was cool to see the Good Smile booth in real life. And I don't have many notes of critique. I, I think that they're really affordable. And I like them. Like they're just cute little desk figurines, like nothing too fancy and definitely like ah, cute. <laughs> so yeah, I get the hype. Um, definitely a series that I would be more picky with though, because I don't want to like buy all of them. But I'm happy with this purchase. And the final figure that I got, which I feel like is gonna be like, it's like kind of in the questionable realm, but like not really. Like all of the figures in this video, but this figure is the look up figurine series specifically of Nanami, and yes, I did put a pump pump put in hood on him because it's so cute. But uh, this is another figure that I bought on impulse as I've been watching the Shibuya arc of JJK, which by the way, I've actually read through. So like I knew everything that was gonna happen. And I was just feeling emotional about Nanami and I've seen a lot of the like white and blue, like kind of more simplistic desk aesthetic girlies by Megumi and put him in a pom pom, no, cinema roll hoodie. Cinema roll hood? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and so I was like, I feel like I could get Nanami and do it with Pom Pom Putin because I hadn't seen anyone do it. And so I bought this got little guy, quite overpriced. I think I paid like 40 bucks for it off of like Bad Bad Toy Store. Um, but I bought him and then I bought this little like Pom Pom Putin hood, which is official by the way, official Sanrio hood off of AliExpress. And like, yeah. I just literally did the bought him to put him in this pump pump put in hood because I was like influenced off TikTok. And like genuinely, I think this series is it's pretty cute. 
but definitely one of those series where you like you have to kind of like be picky with it because like I don't know like they're cute but they're not worth the price even with how big they are I know I've seen a lot of collectors be like oh they're so big and that makes the price worth it like I still don't think this was worth $40 like I think I would have spent I would have been happier to spend 20 with shipping so they're cute but it's like not worth the price you know and that was it for today's haul i tried to keep it pushing so i apologize that i'm not yapping as much in these videos but definitely a lot of the figures in today's video were questionable quote unquote questionable very loose term of the word you know lots of discussion online about them you know lots of polarizing different opinions but i really like all of them as you all know i'm pretty picky with what i buy so i'm pretty happy that i picked up all of these figures and again if you liked this video and you'd like to support me as a content creator then please subscribe to my channel so that i can get to 5,000 subs and i will catch you guys next week and i hope you're having a good holiday season so i'll talk to you guys next week because i'm december is the month where i'm actually have a video every week i'm spoiling you guys <laughs> but i'll see you guys later so Bye.